Hello, 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 everybody. All right. Um, I'm having some early Easter desserts because having dessert on just one day, just Easter, it's not all going to be eaten. So, and we already have it in the house. So we've already started digging in. And um, this is a piece of Costco cheesecake. And then I've got a little flan. And I believe this is also from Costco. It's this brand. Probably shouldn't be clunking it around like that. They're glass. Hi, sweet Jane. How are you doing tonight? I am already... So I have already tried this and this is brand new to me. So I'm excited. I am good, sweet Jane. Uh, tired. I played uh, with my nephew and niece all day. So that was a lot of fun. All right, trying this cheesecake. Hi, Gigi. How are you? Thank you. It's from Amazon. I love that part. And then the bunnies. Thank you. I'm doing good tonight. Um... I played with toddlers all day, so that was uh, tiring. And now I'm having some dessert. How was your guys' days? Thank you, Gigi. It is good. It's really creamy. It's the just the... Plain classic cheesecake from Costco's. What do you guys have for dinner? Mmm. Sorry. Ooh, pizza night. Swedish meatballs and those both sound like really awesome options. I had some chicken shawarma. I ordered it on Grubhub. That was really good. Do you guys have any plans for tomorrow? This is sweet.
that is very sweet and very rich. Hi, Coop. How are you? Ooh, shopping. I hope you find some good deals. Is my little flan. I think it's so cute, the little jug it comes in. Now, I have had this flan yesterday or the day before. And this part was very bitter. So hopefully this one's better. It is really good. My um, aunt, who was also eating the flan, she said, oh, the bottom tastes like it, they browned it too much. Because I believe that's what they they do. Woohoo! Spring break! I'm oh, sorry if that was loud. Hot shower. If this one is really good. It's like liquidy at the bottom, so you mix it as you eat it. Yeah, like burnt brown sugar. But actually, this one tastes okay. These, I believe, are from Costco. This is a brand. What does it say? Marie Morin. It is really good. Oh, your spring break is over, Gigi. Yeah, it's so cute. My mom said they probably have the lids on Amazon. Because she said they have the lids for the little yogurt ones that you could get in the little glass. They have lids for those on Amazon. Yeah. Especially if you get the lid, the herbs would be good. The candle idea is good, too. Mm. Don't apologize for being a hippie. Hippies are cool. I hope I qualify to be a hippie. Which actually brings me to what I'm about to do next. I'm going to be putting together some wooden planters that I'm supposed to have done by tomorrow so that I can fill them. Oh no, you saw my kitchen is a little dirty. Here, this part's clean. Uh, 
Um, oh, hi. I've put sto stones in it, Coop. Yeah, that'd be cute. Hunter House, hi! Hi, Lori! Hmm, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lived-in house. So I'm just catching up on the chats. Three beach rocks. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I love rocks. Hold on. I'm going to show off right now. My aunt, like I've been saying, my aunt came and visited, is visiting right now. She brought gifts. And she knows I love crystals. <clears throat> Look at the shirt she got me. This girl stops for rocks. So that's cool. I like it. Yes, I love. <laughs> yes, thank you. I will tell her that you guys approve of it. Um so she also bought me these wooden planters because um if you look back at my other gardening videos, what I'm using is um excuse me. litter box bins. <laughs> like not boxes, but the um like the, like the litter that comes in the plastic bins, I'm using those. So there's a bunch of those on my driveway. And she's like, I'll get you some nice boxes this year. So tomorrow I'm going to be picking out seeds. That shirt rocks. Oh, thank you, Josh. I'm glad I qualify as a hippie. I'm a witchy woman, too, so I have a lot of... I love crystals, stones, all of that. Yes, this is Brina. Hold on, let me just make sure one thing. Yes, okay. She has tape over her collar I put on the tag because one of my videos... The video, um, my number was showing really clearly. Uh, <laughs> I know, but your tail was hitting the screen. <laughs> so I put a little piece of tape on there, and I was just making sure the tape was still on there. That's a tip. Put a little piece of tape. Because if ever she got lost, knock on wood, you get it? Knock on wood. Okay. The, the person could just easily remove that. She's great. I honestly, she's a blessing. I love her so much. She is the perfect dog for someone who wants a lot of company. What they, they say, uh, labs are Velcro dogs, which sometimes is very annoying when she falls me exactly like an inch apart and I'm trying to go from room to room. I'll go, no Velcro. <laughs> right? But you're so perfect. How could I resist? This weekend. Um, tomorrow, I'm still, my aunt is still visiting. Tomorrow, my aunt said that we can go get dirt because I need some dirt for my garden and dirt for these. And I can also go get seeds there. We're probably just going to Lowe's or something. In a store like that. Home Depot or whatever. Uh, yeah, I need to make a list of seeds I'm going to plant in my garden. <laughs> I 
I, I, I like this. I want to um, point out, you'll need three things to make the box. You'll need, you'll need a, a person. A person's going to have to do this. All right? Can't be a robot. Can't be Brina. You need, you need a person. You need a screwdriver, and then you'll get the box. <laughs> family time with hubby, kids, and in-laws. Perfect. Family time's great. I just saw my, uh, my family, a uh, niece and few. Kitties. Gigi has kitties. That's who has kitties. That's what I said. Playing with my neighbor's puppers. People are saying you're cute. They are. Yes, you're love. All right. So, A, I actually do have to get to work. All right. These are A's. Oh, you have two cats. What are their names? All right. A, A, B, B. I have two cats as well. Cupid and Zelda. And one dog. We I've had this, I had this exact conversation with my nephew today. Uh, because um his cat came out. He goes, Do you have a cat? I said, I have two. And he's like, Oh. And then he goes, I have one. And I said, Yeah, I know. <laughs> Miniature pincher named Rocco. How cute. Tig is how old? 15? Uh, Ashy is 8. Oh, oh, nice. Zelda. My nephew is 3. Yes, hence the. <gasps> you do? <laughs> Where's the, okay. I'm getting to work. Enough dilly dally. Oh. Nice. I've heard of that. I haven't. Is that, that's a show, right? No moving. Oh, okay. Well, then I don't. I have no knowledge of it. But Rocco is very cute. It's a very cute name. I will look it up. My grandkids are seven and eleven. Lots of nieces and nephews. Ooh. Kids are fun. Kids are great.
Yum, yum, sweet Jane. That sounds good to me. Why is this hard to do? <laughs> Because I'm weak. Well, I do also want to point out. This is a man. This is a man. I'm a dainty little queen. And this is hard for me. I hope you all know that sarcasm. But this is hard for me. It does sound yummy. get this one in and see where we are. Right. See? Easy as... Alright. We're good. We're good. Am I doing this the wrong... No, this is supposed to be faced out, so, yeah. Okay, I'm, st I'm good. I'm so good. All right. <clears throat> Peach brown sugar glazed ham. Oh, my God. Mac and cheese, sweet potato, corn pudding. Well... Coop. Coop just straight up bragging. Bragging. That all sounds amazing. You know what, I'm just going to do it with the sheer determination, because I have determination to do it. And I'm strong. Yes. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, no, that's okay. I say it's okay. I am building, they're called, let me find the actual name here. Veg Trug, wooden rectangular box planter. That's what I'm doing. Putting two of them together so I could film with dirt tomorrow. Yep, they're garden boxes. I'm going to put them on my driveway. So. Yeah. Cooking for eight. Good luck. Yeah, garden boxes are great for little things, and um, the area actually in my driveway gets more sun than my actual garden does. 
Unfortunately, my garden does not get as much sun as I would like it to get because there's a giant tree up top and it's the neighbor's tree. So, or like really like next to it. But for herbs, I have these little circular metal things, metal planters that hang on the fence. Oh, sweet Jane, only cooking for seven. <sighs> Just seven. <laughs> Y'all are super women. Saying it like it's nothing. Ah, I'm just cooking for an army. It's okay. Casual superheroes. Where do I put the... Here. Forty plus. Oh my gosh. How do you even do that? Seven boring eaters. Aw. Uh, that's a shame. Hopefully you can find something everyone will like. Yeah, good. Lots of people cooking because all that for one person, I feel like that would take days. Does it already take days to cook for 40 or like, like, do you get stuff prepared beforehand when you did that? Oh, am I screwing it into the wrong part of the wood? No, I'm doing it correctly. It is supposed to be this tough because it's the two thick pieces of wood. Ooh, ham with pineapple, stuffing, scalloped potatoes with cheese. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds like preparing in advance would be a good idea. Ooh, Gigi. A lot of food. Nice. Ooh, cheesecake stuffed strawberries. I've never had those, but that sounds awesome. They sound fancy. I love Nutella. Nutella is way too addictive for me. It, I, I never make it, it never makes it to like on toast or anything. Just one spoon leads to many. So 
so I don't usually buy it. <laughs> yeah, best straight out of the jar. <laughs> And if I did this all wrong, you get to see me cry and take it all apart. But I think I'm good. I wish I had better vision. Definitely be. Okay, bye. Happy Easter, Gigi. Have a good night. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm glad you had a good time. I'm so happy you and you guys are enjoying these. It's fun hanging out with you guys. Because even Brina's not interested right now. She's she's conked out. Right, Brina? Yeah. <laughs> she's asleep. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Coop. I'm glad you think I'm chill. I'm not good at assembling stuff either. But I do it. Even if it comes out lousy. I mean, how... If I can't get this to work out, honestly, I'm not going to be that proud of myself. It, it's a box. If I can't if I can't just make this box work somehow, I'm going to be sad. But it'll work. I must be building muscle or something. <laughs> Because the first one took like oh, five minutes to screw in, didn't it? All right. Last corner. How exciting. See, there's a little 
just drilled hole on the one piece where you put in the screw, but not in the other piece that you're screwing into. So that's why you have to put pressure behind it. And why it's a pain in the neck. Yeah, you have to become good. Well, you do become good eventually after you do them a bunch of times yourself. Uh, the couch, their legs didn't come on it. Neither did the side, like the armrest. And there's hooks. And um, there was stuff to screw in. And I had practice. That was... That took like a day. Yeah, it is a good size. They are both the same size. Yay. Yep. I've gotten a few things from Wayfair. Actually, this couch might have been from Wayfair. Maybe. But Wayfair has a bunch of things you have to assemble yourself. one up here. There we go. <laughs> the bookshelves. just gets placed in here. Yeah. See, it looks like it did a lot of work, but all I had to do was put in one piece at the bottom. All right. Part C. The frame. Yeah, it does look nice. I, I'm actually really happy with it. These are pretty. How do I do this? Like this? Yeah. Oh, how do I... Oh, I have to make sure it's, like, lined up really... Okay. Lined up like that. Finishing part. Okay. 
Come on. Yay. Storage cabinets. Oh, yeah, I, I put together some drawers, and that wasn't that fun because there were so many because it was a bunch on top of each other. 30-year-old storage cabinet. Hey. Good. <laughs> that means you don't have to replace it. I had a bookshelf cubby type of thing that got water damage and it was some, it was that kind of wood. Is it called like fiber wood or something? It's, it's all the little pieces put together. Anyways, it, I know well wood swells anyways, but it flooded and that all got warped and it's right now it's leaning like this way like this. Because we have to wait till um, one day a year you can uh, throw out big stuff. So we're waiting for that day. Yeah. It didn't do good. It didn't, yeah, it just like, it actually flooded several times. And I could see just after the first that it was, it was a goner. Hey, Mary Poppins. I'm good. How are you tonight? I am putting together wooden planters. You like canning, sweet Jane. And Coop. I was doing canning, I think, two years ago. But then I didn't pick it up last year again. But I had fun. It was relaxing. Yeah, I like, I don't know, I just, it's, it's fun, especially if it's from your garden, or um, we got stuff from a farm stand, so it was, like, real fresh tasting, and I made um, tomato sauces, what else did I make? Uh, this isn't considered actual canning, it's more like preserving, but like, I pickled peppers and then stuffed them and then you put them in olive oil and they were really, really good. Definitely going to do that again sometime in the future. Yay! Nothing beats fresh from the garden. For real, have you guys noticed? Question. Have you guys noticed that lemons aren't that sour anymore? Because I have. That's what I've noticed. Unless I just got accustomed to sour things. But sometimes I get lemons that don't even taste. They, they're like kind of, they taste watery. Not that I ever have a lemon tree to, like, compare it to, but, like, I've had real sour lemons, and then I've had ones that barely... <sighs> you have noticed that, Mary? Yeah, they aren't. They may pick them too soon. I love lemons and limes on everything. 
Oh, I poked myself in the eye. Um, I ha I just got one of those lemon and lime squeezer. It has a little lime layer too, but you know, the thing they go, you know, and then the juicer type of thing. I love that. Oh, you guys were? Oh, you guys were in Planet with the Palettes. Yes? Lori did mention that. Yeah. How was it? Is that just it? You just you just put it in here. You just nothing. You just leave it like that. Well, I think so. It doesn't show any other things. It just says put it in here. Okay, here we go. Here's the finished thing. Oh yeah, I'll definitely have to check that out. I love that channel. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I worked hard on it. Thank you. Round two. Now, I bet you I'll be able to put this one together in twice the, well, half the time. Twice as fast. Why? Because I, I have faith in myself like that. And like my nephew says, that there's some kind of song about try again and you get better. All right. It is go time. I'm not hesitating. I am like, I know. My cat's going to jump in here, I bet you. One of them must. It's a box, and it's a rule of cats. They must. Yes, it is another one. It's the same exact one. Which is why I'm going to put it together twice as fast. Let's see. There we go. Okay. All right. Well, the first one's hard to get. Hi, kitty. Do you see my kitty? <laughs> That's Zelda. All right, hold on, guys. This is going to take full concentration. First one started. How did I do this last time? Oh, did I stand it up like this? <laughs> Don't overdo it, girl. Oh, okay. You're you're not going to overdo it, Mary. I was saying, I hope I don't look like I'm overdoing it. Because I just want to get this done. It shouldn't be this hard, right? There, come on. Business. Business. Yes. Here we go. Getting mean. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, don't overdo it, Mary. 
Just do as much as you can. Don't strain yourself. Because that would be bad. Because then you can't clean for a week. That's happened to me. Where I've done... Say, well, basically... Just saved all cleaning till one day. Overdid it. And then the next days... I'm just like, ugh. Burnt out. Burnt out mentally and physically. That's why... I try to clean every day. It doesn't happen, but I can say I try. Like my nephew said, try again, you get better. <laughs> yep. I used to have a bad habit of, like, not cleaning. Like, I don't like to say, uh, like, blaming depression, but that really is what, that really does contribute when you don't care about anything and would only clean if, like, oh, my gosh, I have to clean it. Like, it's, like, oh, I have no clothes left. I've got to do the laundry. All right. Cleaning used to seem fun. Did you have fun cleaning? To me, it can be a little fun if like, I could be satisfying. My aunt, she actually straight up does enjoy cleaning, so. She's always got a super clean house. Oh, okay. I thought using the washer was cool the first time I um, was able to use the washer. And I'm not talking, I'm, I'm talking like age 10. Yeah, I'm not talking about recently. Um, uh, I don't know, I just thought it was cool, like doing a potion, putting all in clothes and then the thing, like the detergent, and then this is my magic potion, it's all gonna come out clean. Oh, this moved. Okay. All right. Attempt two. good that you guys were crazy cleaners. I never was. But that sounds like a really good habit. <laughs> now I'm the opposite.
Have you guys seen, it's called like laundry stripping, where it, it went viral on TikTok, but like, I guess stripping your laundry has been around for a long time. Um, people take all their like towels and linens and stuff, put it in the bathtub with some borax and like, or some other stuff too. And the water just turns black. And it's like, these are clean towels that are going in. Clean stuff. And it, it the, the water is disgusting. That makes me not trust anything fabric ever. <laughs> and then you just think about fabrics that, like, you don't wash or strip and stuff. Like, carpets and, like, I don't know. That's... Mm. <laughs> I know the videos... The videos are so amusing to watch. They are very satisfying, though, because then they rinse them out. And then you're like, wow. These are the cleanest towels ever. But I'm still kind of confused. Just means we have very organic clothing. I don't understand that. Um, so I don't, why doesn't the washer get everything out? That's what I'm confused by. How come, I mean, am I dumb for thinking that when you put something in the washer, it's washed? Why is it black when it, the water comes out? I would like, ideally, you would see that water be clear. Because you would think it's all clean. Oh, dirty earthen clothing, organic. My armpits are very organic in this clothing right now. Running around with kids all day and now putting this together. I'm quite organic today. Homemade laundry detergent videos. I made that once way back in the day. You made a ton of it. But you don't do that anymore. I don't do it any anymore either. I think I only did it once. You know, let me bring up a topic. Topic. Um, preservatives and foods. I can, it's like, if you think about it, there are so much, so many preservatives in just foods that we don't even think about. It's crazy, and I'm thinking... Is it really worth it to switch to organic? It might be. Because you know what? My my sister was talking today. And I do agree with what she's doing. What she's doing is she's feeding her, her kids very healthy. And uh, she doesn't want them having a lot of preservatives and stuff. And, and I was kind of thinking... Oh, well, you know, they're going to have that when they get older anyways. Like, like, what's the, but then, you know, I, I, I really, you really, we should, we as a people shouldn't be that lenient about, uh, preservatives in our foods. It's bad for everyone. And I want to know if like organic makes a difference it really is a lot more expensive, especially the produce. 
Um, but is that the way to go? Is it worth it so we don't have uh, more chemicals? And I mean organic produce and like the Annie's, like organic bunny mac and cheese, just like organic stuff in general. Yeah, it is great, but and it costs so much more. But is it is it really like it that it's like it's it's good for our I mean obviously, right? Why would preservatives be good or chemicals or whatever? But I guess my question was more like, oh, does it really make a big difference that like, oh, I'm getting this uh, non-organic versus organic peppers? The only organic I eat is out of the garden or I make it myself. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, my mom told me at one point, she's like, you know, just get organic. Um, it, because what, well, what she said was like the less, because it'll just end up in your liver and the less you have to, less stuff you have to filter out the better. I guess I should. I shouldn't be. I don't know. Because I heard, I don't know, I've heard people say organic, some organic stuff doesn't matter. Like it's the same organic or non organic. So I have, I guess it has to do maybe per item, like it's items per specific. Oh, guess what? I found out. Um, my mom told me. Okay. So my mom told me, all right, it's my mom. <laughs> she, okay. She forgets sometimes and, um, mixes up her facts, but, uh, you guys could look this up. Uh, pink Himalayan salt has heavy metals in it and you shouldn't eat it. That's what she said to me. I, 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 I don't want to tell you false information and have you throw away your salt right now because I didn't go fact check that I check it. I didn't go look it up, but that's a possibility. That's just what my mom heard. But is any box mac and cheese really good for us? Probably not. Hmm. Yeah. Well, how bad can it be, really? Well, I mean, pasta can be dried without preservatives, you know, preserved without preservatives. I don't know. Maybe it could be okay. Maybe not. A mac and cheese that might be good for us. I, I still need to try it. Uh, is it Bird's Eye? That's the vegetable brand. They have a mac and cheese. I have it in my freezer, actually. My mom says it tastes, it's made out of cauliflower, but it apparently tastes just like mac and cheese. So I've been getting like stuff with cauliflower hidden in it. There's a lot of food with cauliflower hidden in it. air fried cauliflower. I don't really have a taste for cauliflower, unfortunately. I like broccoli. I like cauliflower if it's like, you know, the cauliflower pizza or in the chicken nuggets or whatever. But um, I'm not really a big fan of cauliflower itself. Um, am I making, um, 
not well don't ex not don't expect one too soon because I'm still uh with my aunt and visiting with my aunt but um I should make a cooking video soon yeah I don't I, I don't want to just be like oh yeah real soon and then not do that. So I will say, hopefully. Okay. Flavor it up with sauces. How do you uh, season your cauliflower? Or what sauces do you use? Zelda. She's next to the laptop. Oh, what was that? Roasted cauliflower. Uh, oh yeah, my laptop's moving because Zelda's rubbing her face against it. <laughs> um, I once did a thing where I took like, it was a recipe where you take yogurt and like lemon juice or something and like season it all together and then pour it all on top of the like cover the head of cauliflower and then put it all in the oven. I once had that and the outside part tasted good. That's like seasoned, but I don't know the inside of cauliflower is like watery and bland for me. Oh, you see, I'm sure that's great. Uh, flour and frying it. Yeah, I've seen in um, the stores, they call it like cauliflower wings or whatever. It's just breaded cauliflower that's um, fried and then they put sauce over it. Oh, I'm getting ahead of... Oh, no, you put that in. Now you... Have a great night, sweet Jane. Thank you so much for tuning in. I had so much fun talking with you. Have a good night. Driver. There it is. There we go. Probably how you're cooking. It's never watery. See, 
I think it might just be I don't like the consistency of it because it's I don't know it's not it's not like watery it's not like you cut in it and there's juice coming out it's um like bland watery like that's what I'm describing but yeah I I haven't attempted to cook it in a while I just always go for broccoli because I know I really like that. Oh, I'm going to attempt. Okay, cooking video. I will show myself cooking an artichoke because I've never cooked an artichoke before. So I'll show myself doing that. Does that count as a cooking video? Because <laughs> I'm, I think I'm just gonna boil it. That might not count. There's a special way you gotta cut it. You cut off like the stem. Then, do you do the top first? Do you, or do you do that after boiling? But then you do the tip of each petal. And I think it looks like fun. And I enjoy artichokes. I only ever have had artichoke hearts that are already made. So this will be fun. I should, I should. Oh, I have seen it roasted. So maybe I could try that too. I could try boiling one and roasting one. See which version I like better. Could be interesting. Okay. I have one more corner to do. Oh, thank you, Mary Poppins. Yeah, I love steak. Steak is like, I, uh, if I watch back those videos, like, okay, I'm not, okay, I toot my own horn a lot, but this time I'm not tooting it just for, just cause, it's cause I deserve it. <laughs> okay, if I watch those videos back, I get hungry. But that also happens if I watch like Hungry Fat Chicks steak or what other guy eats steak? There was a guy that I was taught, I think, ate steak recently. Oh, well. Um, but if I see, like, a red inside steak that's, like, real, you know, done good outside, and it's got, like, that that good fat that's uh, charred, uh, I shouldn't watch it because then that's what I want. All right, and I'm done, and my battery is on low. Well, I guess just in time. Okay. All right, I got both of them done. All ready for tomorrow. All right. I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to all of y'all. Oh, thank you, Mary. I'll, I'll say thank you. And I'm sorry that it made you crave steak. Because I know that feeling of really wanting steak. Okay. Thank you all so, 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 so much. So much. 
I had so much fun with you guys tonight. I really, really did. I loved hanging out with you guys, talking with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and commenting. And I'll see you guys another time. Bye.